Welcome. Today we understand the heat transfer in the conduction gate 2016. So, first thing we study the Fourier's law of heat conduction. In this, the Fourier's law of heat conduction, the definition of that is the rate of heat flow through a simple homogeneous solid is directly proportional to the area measured normal to the direction of the flow and the temperature gradient in the direction of the heat flow. If we consider the heat flowing in the x direction, our equation becomes Q is proportional to A dt by dx, where Q is the heat transfer rate, that unit will be joule per second or watt in the given direction. A will be the area heat flow normal to the heat flow direction, that will be the meter square. And dt will be the temperature difference between the two surfaces of the block thickness dx, its unit is centigrade or Kelvin. That means if we have the surface at the inside surface at temperature T1 and outside the surface at the temperature T2, the dt will be T1 minus T2. Next is dx, the thickness of the solid body. That will be the x, means the length of this body. Its unit is meter. dt by dx is the temperature gradient in the direction of heat flow. Its unit is Kelvin per meter. Now, we study the heat conduction through a wall or slab. Consider a wall surface area A, thickness x as shown in this figure and the heat flowing Q in this direction and this is the thickness of x. At x equal to 0, the temperature will be T1. At x equal to x, the temperature will be T2. If we find the slope of this point, that will be dt by dx. So, according to Fourier's law of heat conduction, we know that Q is proportional to A dt by dx. To remove this proportionality sign, we put minus K A dt by dx. Minus K because if we look at the slab, the temperature is decreases as the thickness is increases. That's why we put the minus sign. Now, we move dx on the left hand side that will form x dx equal to minus ka dt. Integrating between boundary conditions. The boundary conditions are at x equal to 0, t equal to t1 and x equal to x, t equal to t2. And integrating q at 0 to x dx equal to minus ka integrating t1 to t2 that dt so this forms q x minus 0 equal to minus k a t2 minus t1 so that will q equal to minus k a t2 minus t1 now we move the minus sign inside that forms t1 minus t2 the equation becomes q equal to k a t1 minus t2 upon x now we rearrange this equation in this manner q equal to t1 minus t2 upon x upon k a now we understand the thermal contact resistance. We have the same slab, but we know that in the electric conduction, our according to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. That means I equal to V by R. Means the potential difference upon resistance. Means if the current flowing in the conductor, that will provide a potential difference and resistance. In the same manner, in the slab, if we trans maintain T1 temperature at one side and T2 temperature on the other side means a Q is flowing in this manner means Q is analogous to I potential difference is analogous to temperature difference and R is analogous to RTH so our Q equation will be T1 minus T2 that is temperature difference and the thermal resistance means this X upon K we call it as thermal resistance so that will equal to Q equal to T1 minus T2 upon RTH. Our RTH will be X upon KA.